it's Wendy. Today we're going to talk about some mental health support at LSC. It's very important to take good care of your mental health at uni. So today I'm going to share with you guys some feasible ways to ask for help. Sometimes we have to admit that the study could be very stressful uh, in terms of the workload, essays and exams and as an international student if you are not very sociable you spend most of the time yourself we all feel lonely sometimes but it would not be a good idea to keep yourself constantly in isolation and we all have some personal issues different kinds of hardship in life and I have to say the first few months in London is quite difficult for me I had to like switch my mode adapt to a new environment, fit in new school life and overcome certain difficulties in communication and because there is so few people giving me positive feedback like before because in the past I was surrounded by my friends and family members at the beginning of this term I took part in a workshop that was kind of recommended by LSE event by email and I remember the advisor at the workshop that day um, she was kind of working for LSC and also for a Mind in Brent, Wentworth and Westminster yeah an independent charity and after the session like she sent us very useful information how to get um, some services at school so LSE has its own mental health advisors who you can always ask for help. They can help manage your studies and also help with your mental health conditions. And if you are encountering something very serious and urgent, um, they are also helpful uh, with these things. And the second thing is LSE Students Counseling Service. They offer um, private and confidential space for you to have communication with which is very good another thing is LSE students peers supporters um, they're very nice to have a discussion on what you're struggling with you have someone around your age responding to your problems and peer supporters have been specifically selected and have been trained so um, they have their professional knowledge and besides that, particularly if you have um, or currently experiencing some bullying, harassment and sexual violence at school, you can always contact the LSC Safe Contacts. And speaking of other kinds of counselling services, I think if you are registered with the school's GP, the St. Philip's Medical Centre, you can always book appointments and ask for professional help and there are also many other ways that you can pull through a hard time so as I can tell there are school senior advocate for students and also LSCSU advice service I think LSSU is a very <laughs> enthusiastic team like a team of professional advisors to help help you with a range of issues including housing matters and LSESU hardship funds and they can also advise and represent you on some academic policies and problems if you have some exceptional circumstances and complaints it's also a good way I just found out that there are also sexual violence support workers and they from Rape Crisis South London comes to LSC once a month. You can book a confidential appointment through email as well. So these are what you can get from LSC for your mental health. You can get really a range of services to have counseling, to receive advice. But I think the most important thing is that you really have to reach out for help and if you don't want that kind of thing, you can also speak to your friends. Um, just don't be isolated. And I think if you can talk about your personal issues, like just talk through them, it would be a great way to relieve yourself from the 
you know, the anxiety, the stress, the depression a little bit. LSA is a great place to explore life, to learn knowledge and to make friends. So just make full use of it and just don't be stressed out. Give yourself a break. Um, just like I said, if you really need help, then don't shy your opportunities away. There are so many things for you. So I wish you all enjoy your life at LSE. And um, be happy.